assuming your sales demo went exceedingly well, based on your own judgment. Yes, you give it your all, and you're, you ask if there is anything you need to clarify a little bit more. Then you prospect, raise an objection, you address it. Then they raise another, and another, and another, so it becomes like a sequence of objections. Please do not panic. You are not losing the sale you thought a moment ago you had in the bag. Keep working your prospect, knowing that a prospect that object is an interested and engaged potential buyer. These objection, objections can be turned into a selling point and can be used as a stepping stone towards closing the deal. So please stay focused and keep your mind in the price. And remember one thing, selling starts at no. When your customers say there is th their initial no, the trial close begun. Because a no means I'm not convinced yet. Help me understand what he's saying better. By saying no, your prospect is telling you, tell me more. I need more information to make a safe decision here. Help me. So, selling is an exchange of influence. It's a dialogue to uncover your customer problems and their impact and the impact on their business. First, win their trust by asking smart questions that allow them to reveal their pain and hurt. Remember, selling is like a therapeutic session where the customer is the patient and the sales rep is the doctor. Get your customer to a mental comfort zone by encouraging them to open up and share their pain. You are a professional dedicated to serve the best interests of your customer. So start building trust Use empathy, ask the right way to win the customer the heart. The sale is always a byproduct of trust. But no matter what you do, please don't push too hard because you will lose their trust. But don't trust them to make up their mind too. You have to nudge them forward a little bit. When they stop, be pleasantly curious and genuinely interested. Because after all, selling is all about building certainty and eliminating risk. How about turning objection into selling point? These methods convert a direct objection into buying reason or at least provide the sales rep with more information in the source behind the customer resistance. So let's look at it this way. Customers say, you have a great product, but I cannot afford it at this time. You, you will encounter that by saying something like, you surely cannot afford another day without this business solution that can immediately improve your business operations, save you money, and improve your employee morale. You see, you go in the opposite way, but in a very soft and professional manner. You helping the customer to think. Let me give you another example. Customers say, listen, I'm swamped with customer issues. I cannot discuss your offer today. You say something like, Mr. Customer, it's because you are inundated daily with customer issues that you need to hear how our automated system will free up your time by eliminating 80 to 90% of your customer service issues. Well, you just address a problem that the customer was just pretty much frustrated about and you giving them a solution by simply flipping what they say and turning it into a positive. Let me give you another example. Customer may say, my business is down. I don't have the fund to invest in your digital promotion right now. And you will answer that by saying something, it's precisely the time to invest in digital advertising 
to attract new customers and increase your sales. And here is why, Mr. Customer. And you can, I can add few reasons. You see, these are pivot methods that you can use, you know, to circumvent the customer objection point and turn them into buying reasons. You're not fighting the customer, you're like using jujutsu, using the same force and going, you know, opposite direction by using the customer force by simply pivoting them. This method requires practice to sound natural. So skilled salespeople use this system not to counter punch, but allow the customer to reflect on their perspective. When a customer tells you, I cannot do this because the answer or your answer should be it's because you cannot fill in the blank that you should fill in the blank and here is why you see it's because you cannot blank that you should blank and here is why blank this is how you answer it this is how you pivot the answer alternatively you can use the following it's precisely because you said that you should consider you see it's precisely because you said the following statement whatever that might be that you should mr customer consider our business solution you see it's just a soft way to pivot thing and turn them objections um, and hesitation into wins